Once upon a time. 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 Grim Women is a new play written by Brandon Minokian, which features five of the Brothers Grimm fairy tale characters retelling their stories in a modernized way, which gives the audience their version of their happily ever afters, which not is not necessarily what you would expect. I play the role of Rex, which is the character from The Princess and the Frog of Brothers Grimm, except in this story he is a boy searching for the love of his life, and he is so caught up in romance and fairy tales and what he expects love to be, but he gets that gets lost as he later figures out what true love really is. Somewhere in my memory stood the story of a man trapped as a frog searching for the love of his life. Searching for me! All I had to do was kiss the frog and you would become my prince. Is that what I should do, little frog? Shall I kiss you? Will you become my prince? Ribbit. That was frog for yes. <laughs> As with every reality show, there is always a catch. And with this show, world-renowned movie star and flamenco dancer Carlos E. Gonzalez would be blindfolded the entire production. Just getting to know us through our words and in our physical interactions. Oh. Because of this, he became very, well, touchy-feely. But I didn't mind. Instead of handing out roses or clocks, he would put shoes on the feet of the contestants who would stay another week. The show would be entitled, Just the Right Fit. <laughs> Get it? Huh. I play Cindy, which is, a, which is a modern Cinderella, and instead of finding her love at a ball, she actually finds her love on a reality TV show. Red is the modern Little Red Riding Hood. Um, but she's a lot tougher than the original Red Riding Hood is. Um, she loves her grandma, and her use of marijuana kind of clouds her judgment, And but she presents this very vivid story and retelling of what actually happened. Like, he would go and kill old grandmas and their little granddaughters dressed up in wolf costume because he was one of those furries you hear about on, like, strange sex. Oh, my God, yes. And after he would kill them both, he would eat their flesh like he was a cannibal i'm not even kidding you what kind of a sick furry fantasy fetish buck is that my mother was the only one allowed to leave the tower and she said getting a ladder would only tempt me to leave so she made me get the longest white girl weave in all the land i play the role of punzi which is the modernized rapunzel in grim women and she goes through a lot of changes in the play. She is presented as living in a tower for 18 years of her life and then is put out into the real world where she realizes everything is not as peachy and wonderful as she expects. I play the role of Gretella, who is the modern day Gretel from the story Hansel and Gretel. Um, the modern day version of Gretella is a little rough around the edges and she has a little bit of a hard life and what she thinks is an already kind of upsetting existence only gets way worse and um, you just get to see how she deals with it and kind of ends up on top of things. And all of a sudden we saw a house in the middle of the woods. At first I thought I was seeing things like it was like a mirage or something but then I realized mirages only happen in the desert. What? And do you know this house was a food house? Like it was made of food and not just any food y'all. Like I'm talking the roof was made of giant garlic breadsticks. Yes, God. And the whistle pane was made of chicken pot pie. Hallelujah. 